Hey, what's up guys, Drakar here, doing a quick impressions video on Evolve. I've been playing the game for about a week now, been having a lot of fun with it. The player base has definitely died down since the release. I feel the release was very, very hyped, and uh, that's one of the reasons I kind of steered away from it. But the player base has definitely died down. Um, I think the launch wasn't so smooth, balance issues, and they were offering DLC right from the bat, and I think a lot of people didn't like that about it. As far as matchmaking goes, a lot of people might be worried since there's not as big of a player base whether they'll get in a match or not. Well, you will definitely get into a match. Uh, when you're lower levels, you might not get a lobby full of all humans. There will be a bot that will replace the spot until it's filled, uh, which they're, they're okay, they're nothing special, but I mean, it allows you to keep playing the game even though you don't have a full lobby. Um, but once you level up, a decent amount you will be able to get into full uh, lobbies no problem at level one you probably just play a match or so and then uh, by that time people have joined and you'll have a full lobby and you only need five players to have a full lobby so it's not like you're asking for a ridiculous amount you're not asking for 10 players or something like that I feel the player brace would increase if they kind of tone down the price I mean the game's still $60 and it's $15 for the extra monster, which I think is ridiculous. Um, I would recommend shopping around, um, whether it be G2A or eBay. I, I didn't pay full price for this. I paid like $23.55 for the game and the monster pack, which I thought was a great deal. Um, seeing as the game $60 um, alone. Um, so anyway, gameplay is quite fun. I like how the... Um, kind of made every class feel a bit different and uh, monsters feel very unique. I really like how they designed everything. Um, the graphics are fantastic. Helps the feel of the game, the environment, uh, the wildlife in it. It's really, really cool. There's four classes. There's the medic, there's the support, trapper, and the assault. There's four characters within the classes. So there's a total of 16 characters for the hunters. Uh, four of which are DLC, uh, so you wouldn't have to buy those. Um, but just the base um, hunters are quite good, and uh, you shouldn't really even have to buy the DLC unless you want to. Unless you really like the game and you want to buy them. But there's a bunch of different perks um, that you can do on your hunter or end monster, and it kind of designed to help you fit your playstyle on how you think you should play it, or maybe your team how you th want your team to work, uh, which is nice. The monsters are very done, very unique. Um, they have different strengths and weaknesses. Definitely feel like you're playing a different kind of game every time you uh, select a different one. The wildlife is pretty cool. A lot cooler than I thought it would be. Um, that's what the monsters eat to level up and uh, get more powers and everything. Um, it's quite dangerous to the monster and mostly the hunters because there's different like crocodiles and toads and uh, carnivorous plants you have to watch out for and get your team out of if they get stuck in and different stuff like that. I thought that's a cool aspect when the, you're running chasing the monster you don't want them to get away but you also have to watch your surroundings so you don't land in front of the alligator lake like I did and get eating and screw your whole team when you die. Game matches. Uh, vary from like two minutes to 20 minutes max um usually it's around six to ten minutes or so but i mean depending on the player skill level and everything uh will really determine on how long the game lasts rather but the game's been uh very fun i uh would not recommend buying this game if you're uh gonna pay the full 60 dollars definitely search around um and you can get a lot better price um on eBay or G2A or yeah, some other site. Um, so shop around. Otherwise, I would say definitely worth checking out. Um, I did. I just love hunting down the monster or hunting down the players. Just just something about it that's uh, very exciting. And get a game uh, feel for the game yourself. So are there some flaws in this game? Of course there are. It's not the most polished game. I mean, I haven't seen any game breaking glitches or anything like that, but it really depends on how you look at your games and how you're playing them. 
I mean, if you're looking, if you're nitpicking and you're looking at everything that you don't like about the game, you probably won't have as much fun as the person who's just trying to enjoy the game. So it's basically up to you on how you want to play this and how you feel about it. But I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful to you on maybe your decision whether or not to buy the game. Uh, please give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys later for the next video.